In today's video, we are going to try and find the most extreme way to season as much popcorn as we possibly can. Guys, a while back I had a roommate who restored an old VW van and he did a lot of painting on it with a gun very similar to this. It's pretty neat, it sprays out quite a bit of paint and distributes it nice and smoothly, better than your average spray paint can. And I was a little bit curious what else it might be able to spray. And I gotta say that what I landed on is I was curious if it could spray butter. Liquefied, melted down butter. I don't know why I thought that would be a good plan, but I wanted to try it. But it's gonna be so much butter. It's gonna be so much butter, and I thought, what do we need that much butter for? There's only one answer. There is. The answer is that we need a lot of popcorn. So we're gonna try that. We've got salt. How should we attach the salt? We're using the butter gun. Maybe a salt gun? This is called the bug assault. It's literally made for shooting bugs. So we're gonna be making a ton of popcorn. We don't have a bowl big enough to put this in. I don't think they make bowls big enough to put this in. But we did find something. That's right, a five foot kiddie pool. We're gonna be popping our popcorn straight off the counter here down into that pool. And once it's full, we're gonna see what we can do about spraying out some butter and shooting it with salt. Here's the basic idea. We have got a paint sprayer, we have got a bug assault rifle, and we have got a lot of popcorn. Let's see how we can combine these three things. So for anyone who's never seen how a bug assault works, it's kind of like this. I can do this. There Nailed we go. It. <laughs> it just sort of peppers the surface with salt. Or in the case of a bug. But for popcorn, this should be perfect. This is a hot air popper. You pour popcorn in and it blows hot air surrounding the kernels. It's not enough pressure in the hot air to blow the kernels out until they pop. Once it gets hot enough, the popcorn kernels pop and then the moving air lifts the popped kernels with the lower density up out and it flows normally into a bowl, but we're using a pool on the floor. So we started, and we went through four of these containers. Six, there's. Six. We went through six of these containers in like a half hour. Each of these is two pounds. So we had 12 pounds of uncooked popcorn, and that wasn't nearly enough. Not nearly. So after a quick run to the store, we have 16 more pounds of popcorn. 16 pounds of popcorn, I think two new poppers. Probably excessive. One of our air poppers burned out, so we had to go to a replacement one. And then while we were getting a replacement one, we also got an additional one. So now we're up to five, having already burned one out. So we're hoping that three pounds of butter is enough. Back to popping? Yeah. Pop, pop! All right, as an update, we've, uh, we've now run out of popcorn again. <laughs> Fortunately, our pool is pretty quick. This is 28, 28 pounds. 28 pounds unpopped of popcorn and uh, yeah we have we've kind of filled our kiddie pool it's fun to see the difference we had the the yellow popcorn that we started with and the white popcorn that we moved to once we ran out of yellow popcorn there's like this color divide yeah you can clearly see when we started using the white Let's mix this together a little bit a bit it all tastes about the same it does all right go for it Nate go there's go. a warning on the pool that diving could result in paralysis so this is gonna be a slow dive Carefully dive. I'm just gonna sort of wade my way in. Oops. Now what? <laughs> That's going well. <laughs> there, just, hey, there we go. It's filled. I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. That's good. It's kind of warm in here too. <laughs> How you doing, Nate? Kind of popcorny. A little bit. What is this? It's my popcorn pool. Do you sit in it? Do you eat it? Sit in it, eat it, 
sit in it and eat it. There's no wrong way to use a popcorn pool. This is gonna go well. I'm just gonna. <laughs> yep. And now just sort of shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah, shimmy. Yeah. There it is. There it is. It's kind of plain. Yep. I think it needs salt. Yep. It's not gonna stick. No. I think it needs butter. There you go. Oh, thanks. Let's throw some of this on. Popcorn angels. Have you guys ever seen that lizard or the spider that just like wiggle, 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 wiggle into the sand? It works, guys. <laughs> Okay, here we go. We're gonna start putting butter into our paint sprayer now. Hope this works. I've, I've never tried spraying butter from a paint sprayer before. I don't, I don't know, if, know anyone if anyone ever has. has. Now I've had this thing in like hot water to try and heat it all up. Uh, Cause I don't want the butter to start solidifying when it starts like spraying out and there's gonna be fairly cool air coming out of that. So hopefully we'll get some good sprays of butter. Oh my gosh, that is filling the room with butter. We're gonna change this up a little bit. We're gonna try and get this pool outside in the winter to spray it with butter. Okay, we're good. Woo! Crushed it. Crushed it. It already smells good. Go. It's gonna be a nice coating of butter. While you're doing that, I think it's time to start salting, so. Yep, get to it. Salt away. <laughs> Just one piece of popcorn ping. Yep, in three days, this will be done. And stir. Here, you stir. I'll pop or I'll salt. The bug of salt is fun for a very small amount. It's not the highest volume. Okay, this is just the, uh, give it a test. Needs a little more. Ow. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I oh, got lots of them out here. Oh. I have to burn all of my clothes now. Hang on, let me see if I can if I can get the bottom. This is what I did not want on my jeans. So we destroyed the entire studio and I thought that there was something stuck to the bottom of my shoe. So I've been tracking this around. This is just packed butter. Nate, Nate, check the bottoms of your shoes. Oh no. <laughs> So that's your side now. Guys, the King of Random Spy Scope Kit is available. Click the link in the description to get yours now. Guys, that's not all you know. We've always got more for you to see. That box up at the top will take you to our latest video, and that box at the bottom is what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. 
hit this bomb here in the middle, you'll be subscribed to the channel. That way you're never going to miss out on a cool video. Don't forget to ring that bell so you get notified about it. And we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.